Hello, teacher Jackie here. I wanted to share a couple of my thoughts and ideas on props, especially the 2D props, props where you print them out and you are showing the student a picture on paper. Now here's a 3D prop, which is something more, you know, tangible that way you can hold. But 2D props, now they're tricky because, you know, they're pieces of paper, they're kind of flimsy. There's a few things that I go by. Ready? Number one, if you laminate it, you can see what happens here. These are actually pre-printed glossy uh, Apple things that I got from a little package and they, they have a glare. So you have to be careful of how you put them up because of the glare. This, I don't have uh, clear on it because I don't want it to glare. So there you go. This, I have pieces of paper inside of a sheet protector. So you see that little bit of glare right there. And these are on top. These are to reveal um, stars or no stars. Beautiful. I got this off of teachers, teachers, pay teachers. This was free. So bless her heart. I remember her name's down here. I can't see it. <laughs> All right. So again, I bought this and I put it on the stick. Now you gotta be careful. See that? Yeah, you gotta tilt things down. You have to tilt them down. But this is a great way. I mean, to hold it wouldn't be so bad. I don't have one. On, but my my common 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 is my yes and no, because sometimes I I put them in one hand and I'll say yes or no, and I'm you know clicking with this mouse and I'll go oh, yes or oh, no, so I can quickly do that. That's what's so good about putting on a stick. By the way, these were popsicle sticks, and I didn't have a thick one. So I put three together. Ooh, that's not pretty when you see them close up. So I have a new class I'm teaching and I have to do eyes. So this will be kind of weird to hold. So I happen to have these like chopsticks around the house. So I'm going to go ahead and I put tape on them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay the eyeball down and tape it that way. And lay this now. Wait, now I need to make sure the eyeballs that's upside down, isn't it? Now, yeah, I think that's upside down. The dot, that white dot, it's supposed to go upright. There we go. That looks better. I'll do it up here. <laughs> so, to put it on a stick or not to put it on a stick, I'll show you one more. Let's see. That's going to look goofy. There we go. So, put it on a stick. So we teach the word eye and we teach the word, oops, eyes. So one eye, I have it kind of bent, and then two eyes. This would be great. So again, I can hold it with one hand. <clears throat> Looks great. It doesn't look crazy. Or I can have it with two. And that one's got a little pushed it, pin, pinched it too much. But this piece of paper, I think is fine. So I'm talking about a car or I talk about a bike. So this is sufficient. I do have a recent big letter A that I put on a stick because that's going to be hard to hold or a little A. Now, one thing, of course, I do have is my flashcards and that's okay to hold. I've had these on sticks before, but I think holding them is better because I can, you know, cover it up and talk about the big A, talk about the little A. Oops. That was not fun. Excuse me. <laughs> And then I can flip it over for Apple. And that's when I go, you know, if I need to cover it up, that kind of thing. So I don't think this needs a stick, but again, you can decide. So to stick it or not to stick it, I have, you know, good morning and all that. Now, if you don't have sticks, if you're like, you know, on a budget, here is my American flag. Of course, it's kind of old. This is over three years old. I have it on a pencil. <laughs> so if you're, on a budget and you don't have a stick. Now I was blessed with this little pointer thing, but it's kind of small. So I added a bigger hand. Okay. So be creative. We have printers that, you know, paper and ink costs. But again, I wanted to share this tip and idea. So the other thing I have is my teacher Jackie sign and I represent several different companies. So on the other side, I have their logo especially for trials, you want to say welcome to insert company name here. <laughs> and then you kind of put it down. You, my name is and I flip it over teacher Jackie. And I put it up there. I have teacher Jackie here, but it's really good to say teacher Jackie. 
Now this is also good if I needed to yawn or sneeze or itch my nose, or I guess you can't really drink behind it. So that's it. I needed to, oh, I do have this. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on a stick or not. So tell me down below when I put this, on a stick. This is to tell the students to write, you know, to write, use your mouse to write, you know. Um, do I want that on a stick or not? I don't know. I don't know. What else do I have on a stick? But that's mainly it. That is mainly what I have. I hope that was helpful. I don't know. We're all in this together. There's just so many confusing, weird, wacky things. But overall, if you don't have a stick, just get a pencil. Maybe those are laying around. Maybe you don't have a pencil but you can find something. Again, I found some old chopsticks. I have other ones too we have in, in the kitchen, but these were you know, more like drumsticks. <laughs> and you can flip them around and do that. Or you can have them, you know, something on each side. I've seen uh, people do that too as well. <gasps> All right, well, like, subscribe, and let me know what else you have questions about, and we can continue to help each other. Bye-bye.